Uh, I've also been hit up a little bit on the, I don't know if you guys have noticed or heard about it, but there's drama in YouTuber land. <laughs> the Linus drama, uh, Linus tech tips and gamers nexus are like going at it right now. So that's been kind of wild following that news. I don't know if anybody not follows that, but that has been, whoa, looking at all that. They are going back and forth and I'm like, dang. Uh, t too long didn't read of it is uh, Linus Tech Tips um, effectively really screwed over a small company called Billet Labs with a water block that was installed improperly. And they also did some erroneous tests and put out some bad benchmarks, which happens with every YouTuber. You know, that's just it's one of those things. You're, you're cranking out videos, working late. You're going to put out some bad data all of us have done it, so not a shot at that. But that was the too long, didn't watch. I think Gamers Nexus had a 44-minute video, which I kind of perused. And that was like the two two biggest things was erroneous data put out by LTT in bad test results and uh, got getting called out of it by Steve over at Gamers Nexus. And then screwing over Billet Labs, where they basically took their prototype and then auctioned it off at LTX. And then basically, uh, yeah, th that was the two biggest things that I saw from that whole back and forth. And then Linus's response was on a forum post on uh, Linus Tech Tips. And his response was basically unapologetic, just going, ah, oh, well, we're, you know, we're going to take care of that. Uh, and our tests are great. Uh, it's just hate kind of thing, like really deflective of it. No ownership of the actual problems. So, and, you know, Steve's very analytical. So, you know, of course, Steve's results are going to be better than like LTT or LTT labs and that type of thing. When I think of LTT, I think he's a good entertainer. He's, he's, he, he has, he knows social media down pat. Um, would I think of him as the de facto source for like a product? No, no, not at all. I don't think very many people in the actual industry do from like a, uh, a specs type thing. It wouldn't be like, it'd be like me looking up a, a Linus windows optimization video. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> that would be silly. So I, I don't treat them as gospel. I treat them more from an entertainer standpoint and a brilliant social media media group. He's, he's amazing at what he does, but at the end of the day, I don't think of him as like a technical person. Like you, where, where Steve at Gamers Nexus, you think of a technical person. Like if you want like lab results, you're going to go to a Gamers Nexus and you're going to watch like a 40 minute video over every single bit of spec you could want from a freaking fan or something. You know, that's what those guys do. So, you know, different channels, different things. And there's just a little bit of overlap there. But that was the drama in a nutshell. Um, Steve basically, you know, putting Linus, putting the screws to Linus and Linus, not really taking any ownership of saying, hey, this is my bad. We're going to do better. It was more of like, no, I, very, very poor response by him, which I'm sure he will hopefully correct at some point. And then uh, Steve, I think, made a response video to to that post uh, today and it, it made him look worse. So uh, that's the drama in a nutshell. Eh. <laughs> you know. And, and that, that's, that's the gist of it. So yeah, it, it was, uh, I watched both videos, the new video and the old video on it. And I was like, Eesh, that's, that's tough. That's tough. And, and I get why that, you know, when someone gets so big, you do get a lot of criticism. And I think Linus has just gotten so much criticism over the years. He blocks it out. And, um, you know, when you have that and you're surrounded by a bunch of yes men, it, it can lead to some ego problems. And I think he's n hadn't really quite swallowed that bitter pill yet. He'll, he'll get there though. I think he'll, he'll, he'll back off of, you know, saying, ah, we didn't do anything wrong. And finally just go, yeah, we screwed up. Sorry. Thanks Steve for calling us out. And then backpedal because that's really the right thing to do there because everything, you know, Steve brought the receipts on, on everything he said and he should just take ownership and move on. And it would be fine. Yeah, I, I, I already watched it, Dex, and you, you'll kind of see that. Yeah, and I think he will. Like, Linus is a good guy, and, uh, you know, it's just, I, I see how this happened. You know, he, he when you're you're going through, I think he produces like 25 videos a week, and they talked about like the, the 
breakneck pace the LTT follows, you're going to make a lot of mistakes, especially when you're pushing as hard as they push and make as much content. Like these days I'm, I'm kind of, I don't do many videos and a lot of times my videos are take like a week or two and you know, I publish whenever, whenever it's ready. And if it's not, I'm just like, screw it. I'm not making a video. Otherwise it's just going to be like one of those talking head videos and go, well, uh, there's no video this week, guys. I got, I got drama going on in my life. And I'm like, I like to tell people that stuff, but I kind of just like to do that here on live stream. So I don't really have like a absolute, I must publish by this deadline and I don't have anybody working for me. So I don't have all that overhead for Linus. He has 120 people. He has this massive overhead. Uh, and that's why he makes as many mistakes as he does, because, you know, with that big of a ship doing what he does, it's just inevitable. For better or worse, but I, I kind of know what I'm getting into with an LTT video. Yeah, they suffer on quality, but I mean, quantity is really where the money is in YouTube. As I drink from my LTT bottle, <laughs> I got this for free when I went to LTX. It's a great way to end that segment. I think that's great. I'm not influenced at all, guys. LTTstore.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, I will say the water bottle. My review is it's pretty damn good. It's it's like my new favorite water bottle. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. Uh, unbiased opinion, guys. Unbiased opinion all, all around. <laughs> Uh, but the one, <laughs> it's pretty good. I, I, they gave us screwdrivers too. Like they just hooked up the creators that, that they had to LTX. So, and I tried the screwdriver. I don't think it's worth $70, but it is a damn good screwdriver. That's my, my honest review of that too. <laughs> oh, maybe put it, I'm not giving Linus percentages here app. <laughs> no way. You go to cttstore.com for that. You know, if you're if you if you want uh that, you you go here. <laughs> it actually works by the way. That that wasn't me just <laughs> there you go. That's a thing. I don't know who I got that idea from. Hmm. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Yeah, it was funny. That yeah, was funny. Ah, uh, if LTT team fixed on fit working, I'm sure Linus has the heart in the right place and trying to do the right thing. I've been regularly watching for almost a decade, and at least I can tell. However, there's some stuff that needs improvement. I think we all agree on that, Odor. I think that's probably what happened. I touched er earlier in the stream about the the LTT drama, but yeah, I, I you know Steve Steve's a great guy, and so is Linus. It's just you know. Uh, some things need to, you know, he, uh, Linus needs to just own up. Hey, I screwed up. I'm sorry, guys. And then move on. Uh, that's the too long didn't watch of earlier. Uh, and he does need to do that. If he just says, no, my word, way or the highway kind of thing, that's going to be really bad. He'll switch, though. The community will not stand for that. Usually they'll back him on S everything. But Steve brought up some really good points and and he'll 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 go okay this is stupid i'm literally committing social media suicide and he's a social media company so he'll fix it he'll own up for it eventually but yes yeah, steve is i would trust steve's results far more than ltt labs or linus any day of the week uh steve from gamers neck is like and that's how everyone is you know it's not a shot at linus it's just you know, you don't go to ltt for an in-depth video on like a knock to a fan you go to Steve because Steve will have like a 40 minute long one. Just say, here's the decibels. Here's uh, the throughput. Yeah, they could have done better here, but this is also, you know, he, he really goes in depth and, and that's what you use gamers nexus for. It's, it's, it's a, it's a different thing where LTT is more entertainment based. Yeah. It's not so much integrity. I would say, um, you got to remember Linus is huge and he has a huge team of people and he's a media company. He's a media group. Hell, it's in the title. That's, that's who owns it. So, uh, you know, it'd be like if I wanted to redo my network, 
would you look up a LTT video or would you go to like a network engineer or somebody that really specializes in network and look up their videos? You would do that. Like, uh, off the top of my head, if I was doing that, probably Tom Lawrence, uh, from Lawrence systems, uh, probably would have the best networking videos to redo something in a semi-professional way, uh, for like a home or even a small business. I think he'd probably be the best person on Linux, uh, or on, on here to go to. So, uh, you know, pick, pick your thing. <laughs> we're all, we're all good. Like if you want to look up a Linux optimization video, I'd, I'd hope that I'd rank pretty high on that list. And, uh, some of my Linux stuff, I, you know, I think I still could do a better job and explaining a lot more things and going back and kind of going through some of my library and improving it. But I, I, hopefully I'd, I'd rank up there in the Linux content creator space too. So yeah. That's just my, my thoughts on the whole thing. Yeah. The billet labs thing was totally effed up, man. That was super messed up. Uh, so he'll make it right though. Linus should pay billet labs for that prototype that they auctioned off because I'm sure it was an oversight and just say, Hey, I'm sorry. And then maybe give billet labs like a new, like when they create a new product, give them a, give them a platform to talk on as long as he doesn't get salty and like vengeful, I think you'll be fine. And I, I touched on that a little bit at the start of the stream too, about Linus, like when you get as big as he is and you have so much hate coming in, a lot of times you have a difficult time taking criticism because so many people are critiquing what you do. So a lot of times you just shut out all critiques and criticism and just be like, Oh, they're just a hater. And, you know, I think that's what his initial reaction of Steve from Gamers Nexus is, which is kind of concerning because Steve and him have such history, but he should go back and understand he needs to take critique. He's not a God. He, he, he needs to, he does meet, need to make it right and, uh, own up to his mistakes because we all make mistakes. I've made mistakes in plenty of videos. And if someone calls me out on it, I'd be like, yeah. I screwed up on that. Now, some, you know, there's plenty of videos where people leave a comment like, Hey, you're dumb. And I'm like, well, that's not very, that's not very informative. <laughs> that doesn't really help me. But when someone's like, Hey, you're dumb because you, you did this, this, and this, and they lay out, you know, bring the receipts, so to speak. I'm like, Oh, well, that's actually pretty good construct. I actually appreciate that comment. If, uh, it makes me, and you know, I learned something from it. <laughs> 